I imagine you've had many, many, many rewarding interactions with constituents. I'll give you one example. Some memorable folks who generated legislation. I door knock on the quiet part of the year when I'm not in session. Uh, I visited this one guy after the Great Recession, 2008, and he was a skilled tradesman. Okay. He had lost his position due to technology. His trade that he did for decades was no longer valid. And he was in despair over this. And uh, we went outside to talk. He didn't want to talk in front of his family, so we went outside. He told me the whole story. He was working at a, a job that was not what he was trained for. It was a low-wage job. It was, very, it was a difficult job but it was what he could get. I was distressed talking to him because he was trying to support his family. He had kids in college. He had um, parents to care for. And he was not making it on his new wage. And he was stressed. Mm -hmm. That one guy stuck in my head more than anybody else I had talked to. I was chair of program review and investigations, and we did the big picture reports that took six months. When I got back to session, we documented that they were having a harder time going back to work. And to survive, they really needed to be retrained for a new career. And they had, uh, they needed some computer skills that they never learned in their first trade. Right. Um, they needed to upgrade themselves a bit and need a few weeks of training. But they were really good workers. They showed up on time. They had good work ethics. And we really just had to recreate them for a new position. Okay like this fellow. He was yeah. perfectly capable of doing a new job, but he needed some training. We found a pilot program in Bridgeport called Platform to Employment, and I found out they had 94% placement rate, which I had never heard of before. I never heard that high. Yeah. I called the director and I said, if we get you the money, can you go statewide, do the whole state? He didn't even hesitate. He said, yeah, I can do that. I worked with people on appropriations to see if we could get them some more money to go statewide. That's what we did. We made it a statewide program. Wow. Whenever I run into a person that's unemployed, and oftentimes it's because their career has become extinct, I will redirect them into this program. They go for eight weeks. Their new training is subsidized by the state. Okay. And even before graduation day, they get a job. So when I go to graduation, Half the chairs in the audience have their name on it, but not the person. The person isn't there because they're already at their new position. Wow. And they make an uh, average wage uh, after eight weeks of training of, of 54000 Wow. Which is decent money. You can, you can actually keep your family afloat yeah. with that wage. So the you were able to had, actually help this guy get into that program? Well, he yeah. was the impetus. No, we didn't have the program when I first met him. Right. But... I thought about it, and I realized that this was a whole category of people that needed some assistance. And we set this program up. It's very successful. And I, I regularly send people to the nearest office, which is in New Haven. Okay. And uh, they get retrained. I go to their graduation. And uh, the first day, they're kind of nervous. They're not sure why they're there and all that. By the last day, they're dressed for graduation. They're very happy. They've got their diploma, and they're going out to their new job. That sounds and extremely rewarding. It is. I'd, I'd say of all the bills I worked on, that probably made me the most uh, happy. Is that what keeps you uh, running every two years? Yeah. I like to fix things. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. to fix things.